welcome to the Adosia Closeout for Marketplace Updates. This project was approved in Fund 9 to build five new features into the Adosia Marketplace. Let's run through all of those new features for you right now. First, let's take a look at the operator profiles. We wanted to give users the ability to brand themselves and differentiate from one another. The profile is also the stub for future improvements, such as the reputation system. This new subsystem currently allows a user to fill in their personal information, provide an identifiable photo or logo, provide a bio, and links to social platforms. Filling in the profile is easy and convenient. Just log in and add your details. These details will be available to anyone who interacts with you throughout the entire process of purchasing or printing your 3D designs. Next up, we will jump into Guild Networks. These networks allow users to select trusted parties to interact with for printing or design work. By placing individuals into your guild, you can give them exclusive access to printing objects that you have designed for printing. This system is driven by stake address. Just enter the new member's stake address and they will be automatically added to your guild. Again, you can see the new operator profiles also being useful here as those details are automatically added when you add a new guild member. This design is available to my guild members. So let's take a look at automated shipping integration in action. To do that, we're gonna need to take a few steps. I'm gonna switch back to the 3D printer operator profile that we just updated. The design is available for printing. So as the operator, I'm gonna place an offer and set a delivery date. Now that that offer's pending, let's go back to my profile and accept the offer. I'm logging in here. Now, here's the, you see the offer is pending. I have to accept it and I have to put in some test shipping information into the system just so I can sign the transaction. Now that this transaction's gone through, I'm able to go back to the printer operator again because it's gonna give him notice that they can accept the bid and go through the printing process and then ship the item to me. So here it is, the offer is pending. Uh, one quick note here, the printer operator can add their own API key for Ship Engine to participate. These keys are free and allow the operators to access the complete network of global shipping companies. Let's fill in all the shipping details now. We're using real fake data with sample test shipping addresses here so that the API will provide us with a finished shipping label. You will need to enter the package dimensions and weight as well. And then the API is gonna go through and it'll provide a real shipping label for you. These labels could be printed, emailed, and imported into other programs. Here you can see the sample labels created. We've got one more step in shipping integration, and that's the blockchain notification that the item is shipped. So let's go ahead and sign the transactions. And after that, we'll switch back to my main profile so that we can move forward. Here we are, I'm confirming the delivery, signing that transaction, and that will have completed the process. Another feature, rights transfer, is also completed. This allows designers to trade or sell the permanent rights to their designs in the marketplace to other wallets. I will move this design for a 120-sided die over to the 3D printer operator profile. The only requirement is the stake address of the appropriate wallet. Now I'm going to switch back to the other profile so that you can see that the design is now owned by the new party. Now they are going to receive all of the design sales royalties into their wallet. Our fifth and final new feature involves queuing jobs to maintain fair access to the available print jobs. This is important to allow new entrants to the space to have access to available print jobs. We built the queue to be easily modified so that we can quickly adapt to market conditions. In this test iteration, we have set the maximum number of queued jobs to three. So I will agree to print this Your Did It medal. Next up, I will agree to print a rocket. Lastly, I will print this shelf pin. Each of those go through with no problems. 
If I try to add this toy truck to the queue without finishing the other jobs, then this helpful error message will pop up to point the user in the right direction. We would like to thank the Cardano community for your continued support of the Adoja Decentralized Manufacturing Marketplace. You can help us improve by participating in our ongoing incentivized testnet. Find out all of the details at adoja.market. We look forward to continue building the future with Cardano's Project Catalyst.